and welcome to my Slenderman tutorial. This is my first voiceover video, so here we go. Um, start off by covering your face with a base of white foundation or body paint. I'm using an e.l.f. foundation brush to spread it out and a cosmetic sponge. Um, I think by the end of the video I did about five layers total all over my face. You want to make sure that you get your hair and your ears as well. Make sure to cover your lips as well with this paint and um, to set that I would use white eyeshadow so that it stays opaque and it doesn't crease. Next we're going to start with the painting of the suit and tie. Cover your shoulders in a black body paint using a foundation brush. Again I'm using the e.l.f. foundation brush here. Make sure the lines are really, really, really crisp. You want to do a basic, a basic v-neck and then you're going to move on to the tie. I'm doing a very sloppy curved upwards arrow and then a downwards arrow and then I'm filling in the center. Once you mess around with that and get it how you like it, um, do a triangle connecting the v-neck and the um, knot together. It's going to basically look like a keyhole once you're done. Then fill in the remaining area with gray body paint. And go in with more gray body paint and blend away to create a shadow where I guess the lapels would be on the suit. I'm going in also where your armpits are so you can see where they start. And then you're going to outline the tie with gray body paint again so you can see where the tie ends and the suit begins. Make sure all harsh lines are blended away. I messed around a lot with the shading um, but you just want to make sure that you have highlights on the shoulders as well and no harsh edges. Next I'm going in with white body paint again on the neck with a cosmetic sponge. And then I'm going in with a thinner paintbrush and I'm creating a gray line where the suit ends and my neck begins. Like I said before, I just mess around some more with the shading. Next I'm going in with Elmer's glue over my eyebrow so that the hairs don't get stuck in the liquid latex and they don't get ripped out. I didn't have a glue stick but you could use that as well. Next I'm going in with liquid latex in a bowl and I am dipping a square piece of napkin in that um, and setting it down around my face. I actually put dots with a q-tip around the edge of the paper and stuck it down. Then you're going to go over the edge again with latex so that it blends into your skin seamlessly. Then again, you're going to map out where your eye socket is, feel out a piece of paper that will cover it. But you're not going to put that down yet because we have to shade and contour with gray body paint. Go around your jawline, your temples, underneath your cheekbones, your forehead, and the sides of your nose and blend that out. I also added gray body paint to the eye sockets so it would appear as sunken in and there would be a visible brow bone. Then I pulled out the wet piece of napkin so there was um, kind of a false bone structure there. And then once everything was perfect, I added dots of latex around the edge of that square and I set it down on my skin. And once it was dry, it stuck and appeared as if I had no eyes, which is the goal. 
changed my camera to black and white, stuck it down, went back in with a finger and some latex so it was blended and there weren't any harsh edges and I was done. Thank you for watching, please like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next time.